Information security overall can be divided into two branches. One is technical and another is managerial. So let's say if you want to be a penny tester or ethical hacker, then you are moving towards the technical branch of information security. And those are the person who go for certified ethical hacker or OSCP courses. Now when you are doing CISA, then you are aiming to become a IT auditor, chief information security officer or information security manager. So this comes under the managerial aspect of information security. In this course, you will learn different types of managerial skills like planning, risk management, project management, IT audit planning and so on. So I have seen lot of candidates who have less technical knowledge but good command in audit concepts usually pass this exam than the candidates who have immense IT background but lack IT knowledge or managerial knowledge. Any certification exam will not be difficult unless you understand its overall objective. The CISA main objective is to make you understand different audit concepts like planning, risk assessment, documentation, reporting and apply those concepts in IT domain. As I have already said, CISA is not a technical exam maybe about 30 percent but that's it sisa is overshadowed by audit so you need to focus on audit concept and managerial skills and knowledge so there will be no hacking website exploiting target or a fancy terminal for you in this exam so it is a purely theoretical exam I have attempted and passed CISA exam back in 2014. The lot of concepts in the CISA review manual at that time is similar to the co contents in current CISA review manual. So it is, it is proof that audit concept usually don't change. But my biggest complaint with CISA review manual is that it is very long and the things does not follow in proper order lot of concepts are thrown here and there so in this course my aim is to lead you in a proper direction I will start with the basic concept of audit and then go on adding block of knowledge one after another I will also help you to understand the interrelation between these subject matters so that it will be understandable and easy to follow for you Guys, th this is not the certification that should be done in a hurry. You need to have a patience. The successful candidates are those who have ability to understand the concepts. Further, your aim should not be only to pass this exam. You should be able to apply the knowledge in your day-to-day -day job. If you are thinking that after passing CISA exam, you will be a IT expert, then sadly you will be very mistaken. It depends. If you are just starting out, uh, you will become a junior auditor. That will be a one step towards your manager position. If you are already a auditor, then it will open doors to new career. And if you are, let's say, uh, chief information security or security manager in, your, uh, in any organization then it will add value to your CV. Again, CISA is just a means to end. Doing CISA will open door to different cyber security areas. Trust me, passing CISA you will be left with lot of queries which you need to seek answer. CISA is just a platform. You need to keep adding steps to become an ultimate cyber security expert. With this course, my aim is to guide you towards that direction to reach your goal 
with less effort and time 